a lot of the vegetable crops are very sensitive to certain pest pressure, whether that's disease or insects. And everyone expects the grocery store to see a perfect product. They want that perfect head of lettuce or perfect stalk of celery. And managing those pests can be really challenging when your goal is, you know, 0% damage. We try to use a really soft approach to our sprays. Um, we use a, a lot of BTs, a, a lot of very soft chemistries, you know, trying to maintain our natural pest populations here on the farm. You know, try to keep somewhat of a balance to not let a foreign pest really ravage the farm. We're pretty much weekly sprays on all vegetable crops up from two weeks of it being in the ground to within a week of harvest. You have to really be cognizant of you know how long it's going to be to that lot, to that field, to harvest. I had heard from a friend about Magro and we got a demo going. Um, we done multiple studies here on the farm, watching efficacy and penetration and things like that. And even just the visual optics of our sprayer operator, you know, noticing that visually that we're getting better penetration and better drift reduction from using the system. So been really impressed so far. We are fortunate here that we don't really have any close neighbors. We're kind of in the middle of nowhere and most of our sprays are pretty benign to other crops. So where someone might have more of an issue of drifting onto a neighbor's field, my issue with drift is that, you know, that's lost efficacy of the products that we're applying. A lot of the chemistries we're using are, are really pricey and, and you don't want to see that get blown away into the wind, into a creek, into a canal. I want the maximum amount of product that I'm applying going directly on the plant where it needs to be. In the past, we've definitely had to compensate on that drift by increasing our chemical rates, increasing gallons per acre. You have a whole week that's a windy week, not one calm day in the forecast. I mean, you have to start making some decisions of when to get out there and having a system that allows us to apply product in you know less than ideal conditions, but still have a good degree of efficacy, that's, that's huge for our operation. With using Magro, I mean, we've been able to reduce our gallons per acre. That's more acres per tank that our operator is able to spray, but at the same time, getting us better, deeper penetration and more efficacy of the products we're applying I mean, I think it pretty much will sell itself once you get your eyes on it. I think having no moving parts and being incredibly simple is a huge selling point of the system. You don't want to have a add a fail point to a sprayer and very user friendly, very low maintenance. We've been very happy so far and everyone from uh, Magro has been really great, really willing to help, willing to give advice, troubleshoot issues, you know, learned how to implement the system on the farm and just having that relationship is very helpful and really will put you at ease. Having a system that allows us to reduce the amount of inputs that we're using is a huge cost benefit for us. Oh, I mean, it's definitely going to give you an edge. And um, the first year using Magro, we've had to cut our rates back by 25, 30% and still got superior kill to our standard practices without Magro. Before, we've always overcompensated with high rates, high gallons per acre, and being able to take a system like Magro and reduce our rates and really reduce our gallons allows us to cover more acres a day, but still get that superior coverage and complete coverage that we need for the products that we use. With the reduction in gallons that, that we've implemented this last season, we're gaining about eight acres per tank. So that can potentially cut out an entire spray day during the week. That's huge for us. And again, having a system like Magro just is another step to help increase our efficiency.